All right, we've got this in today. It says needs new BMS. Say Voltra X, 36 volt, 12.6 amp hour. Um, 10 NCR18. Who could say? Euro Group 33 for Voltrax Limited. Something a bit loose in there. I think it's a ranch and eel. Uh, it does say ranch and on there. Not a lot going on here. Uh, charge port. There. And I've got my power supply on here. If we plug in the charger, well, the power supply, should I say. Absolutely nothing, charge wise. Battery indicator does nothing. Seem to be loose. Not a lot going on there. That's my meter. <clears throat> We've got nothing on the output. And if we press the button, again, nothing. So, probably. Ooh, some Phillips head screws to open this one up. One, two, three, four along the top there. Let's pop that cap off. Probably don't need to do the bottom one. Let's see what we find. Not that size. Posi uh, one for anyone that needs to know. That's not going to be fun. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. So the case. So, oh, the balance leads are done in an interesting way, like that, with these uh, ribbon cables. It almost looks like an old IDE cable that's been pushed into a sort of a custom connector. Isn't that interesting? Looks to be the temp sensor there. Oh, looks interesting. Like that. Okay. And there's our main. B plus and B minus there. The button is just powered off the charge port, which comes off charge positive. So bizarre. There's the BMS name. Oh, if we can see it. it says just there. BMS 10S4P ATM Electronics Limited. Got a whole chip on there and all. Let's see what kind of voltages we get. If it is really a new BMS that's needed, or if it's uh, all got a little bit confused. So coming off the pack we've got a neg here and a pos here. 
with 22 volts <clears throat> off the pack. That's not enough volts. 22.7. Is that why it's turned off? Is it below the uh, minimum voltage threshold? I wonder. Uh, that's all rather bizarre. There's that connector off. Oh, isn't that funny? Little four tiny little pins there. This side's got five. Two. Is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. This is bizarre. Not something I'm really familiar with at all. Yeah. I'd imagine if I could check the voltages across the resistors here. the ground but we could find out 2.3 volts across there 22.1 across there so this be our negative so if we go for a continuity test be other components in the way. We'll go back to our voltage mode and go B minus to that. 22 volts. So this is our positive up here. And from here to here. Right, that's our negative up there. It's getting zero volts between the two. So, if we measure from there to there, you'd assume this is the next one. 2.239. Bit hard for you to see, but we'll make do. Is that 1.9? Very hard to uh, do this. I might reposition it a bit. Go between this one and this one. Hmm. 2.3 2.3 2.2 2.1 2.3 2.3 What I might do is um just raise the voltage of the entire pack up a bit see if it wakes the BMS up if all the cells are a little bit too low they're borderline recoverable um, might be a way to go ok so I've got my charger here and if I plug that into the charge port there still green, nothing happening fine um, and then We're on about 20, 
2 or 23 or something for the whole back there. So, power supply on. There it goes. You can't quite see that. There you go, 42 volts just there. Twenty-five volts. <clears throat> what we're going to do is sort of force the power back into the back. So that's our positive there. If we put anything to clip onto, even. Go across there. So there you go. So it's taking 0 0.3 amps there. Charge is still green. So about 1 amps. Just keep bumping it up ever slightly. Hopefully, when we get a bit closer to 30 volts, the BMS might wake up and take a charge. But we shall see. Nothing on the power indicator yet. Nothing on the output with the multimeter either. <clears throat> Might need to get to above 3 volts per cell for it to work. Try a bit more juice. Nothing yet. Well, I'll pause it and come back to it if anything exciting happens, which mm. it might not. Okay, so we don't seem to be getting any results with that. I've um, <clears throat> increased the voltage; it's up about sort of 34 volts now. Um, still no power. But the next thing I was going to try was um, to just sort of feed a bit of power backwards into the BMS just you never know it's either knackered or it's not and if this turns it back on uh, we'd still run tests to make sure that it stops charging when it's supposed to charge um, cuts off when it's supposed to cut off that the temperature sensor cuts off at you know some reasonable value I can heat it up gently with a heat gun to you know 40 60 degrees something like that who knows what its value is, but whatever it is. Um, so we've got our main power output terminals here, 
just because they're easier to get to than the ones on the on the board there. They're a bit fiddly. Got it set to a little bit high actually. Close enough for 42 volts. Negative in the negative. Positive in the positive. Oh, little spark. Oh, so it is. Not my finest moment. Don't short them out. It is putting a little bit of power into the uh, BMS there. If you see that, that's up 36 volts. It's going at five amps, which is too much. But uh, now, oh, we have a light. A flashing red light. Don't know if a flashing red light's a good light or a bad light, but it's doing something. Right, let's turn off our power supply. Short these cables out anywhere else. Already done that once, it's probably enough. Uh, charger. <clears throat> Light on the charger is green still. Plug that in. Oh! It went red. Nice. And it's solid red. Don't know what solid red means, but it's solid red and then it turns off. If we disconnect that, it sort of flashes. That might be flashing that's that's empty. That may change colour to uh, a blue or a green when it's a bit more full. Well, that's good, isn't it? So, to wake up these BMSs, feed it a little bit of power backwards to the board seems to turn it back on. Don't know why it was off. Uh, I've got no backstory with this battery at all. Just that on the side case it says needs new PMS. But it's charging. Uh, as I said, I will have to go through all the uh, health checks of the battery, which is uh, seeing when it cuts off, what voltage that is. Should be you know, a 42 volt rated charger, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, see when it discharges, Two is it 30 volts? Because if this happens every time it discharges, the BMS is still knackered and needs replacing anyway. Uh, if you can even get one of these, it's a very odd shape. I don't think I'd get a, a regular sort of generic rectangular one in there. I don't think it'd fit, but we shall see. Anyway, I say turn it on. <laughs>